Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to create realistic IV on a building in Lumion 2023. So in Lumion there are multiple ways to create realistic IV. Here is one of them. One of them is by create, going to the nature tab and type in IV. And then you have various models of IV elements that you can use and place them inside the world next to your building and you can create like IV like so and then just for example stack some pieces on top of each other. The problem only with this is that you can't really control where the IV is going to be. It has the same scale and you can scale it down but that's not also going to look good. You And it's also really uh, time consuming as you can see. I've only used this part and uh, if I want to do the entire building, I will. it's going to take a long time. Most of the elements are also really big. So if you want to try and put, for example, this one next between those windows, you will see there is going to be overhang in front of the window. And if that's not what you want, then you have to find another way. But to having a lot of small elements next to each other, it's going to look too repetitive. As you can see, the elements are way too big and you can't really control where they are going. Also as you can see on the render is that it's going to be more repetitive so you will see the same element over and over again on the building. Another way to create ivy on, on a building is by putting ivy inside of the materials. So what you can do for example if I select here the material on the wall I go can go to the show more options inside the settings of the material and I can go to foliage and then I can use spread show some ivy. This also gives me this, uh, the option to leave the different leaf size, different leaf types and also the spread off. But to create for the entire building ivy I have to go to every material and say where I want it to be, what the spread is, what the leaf size is, and what the spread offset is. And there is still not really a lot that I can do because I don't want uh, to lose my details. But as you can also see, it goes for the entire material that is in this project. And if you don't want to have all the ivy around the building, there is another way. But for that, we need to go into our 3D software. So we are now in our 3D model software where we can do some little adjustments and create the, a way on how to manipulate and have more control on the IV. We can do that by creating a plane where the IV is going to be. Select it, make it a group and now we need to have our, we want to keep our details for the window. So let's say for example that the IV has to stop over here. And then we go to double click, select it and copy it to the other window. And then delete those planes. So we have space. Now you can, as you can see we have a plane on top of it. And now we can control where the IV is going to be inside Lumion. Uh, before we can do that, we have to give it a material. So give it a material that you don't, are not going to use for other things. So for example, the vegetation and SketchUp. And then instead of keeping it, of course, on the face itself of the wall, we're going to give it a little bit of offset inside of the wall with, for example, one centimeter. If we are going to import this now inside Lumion, you will see the difference it makes um, while well, using this method. So now we have imported the model inside Lumion and as you can see it's not doing anything because of course the plane is inside of the wall. So how we can access it is by going with the camera just straight to the wall and now you can see the edge of the plane that we just made and we're not going to do anything with it except for the going to the tab foliage again and then we are going to increase the spread of the foliage of the IV and let's see how that looks. That looks better than having just IV all around of the material. And now we can also see that 
we can control the IV. For example, if you want to have to show more detail, for example, on off the bottom or up to the sides, you can increase the size that you need around the window. So there won't be any leaves in front of it. The same goes for the spread offset. You can still give it a little bit of offset so it has more uh, person variation. And that's actually how you can create a more realistic and controlled way on Ivy for on site of a building. If you found this video helpful, leave a like. And if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, consider subscribing so you can stay updated with new videos that I create on my channel. And hopefully I see you guys in the next video. Bye.